Hello, and thanks again for joining us for another segment in our How to Hunt series. I'm Paul Ewing, one of the researchers here at Endgame. In our last video, we discussed component object model hijacking, an unconventional but yet effective method for an attacker to maintain persistence within your environment. And as we discussed, searching for persistent files within a system is one of those first steps by any hunter or incident responder because attackers will utilize such methods to survive any interruptions in their access. Today we are going to take a step back and examine the power of file paths in hunting. Analyzing the location of persistent files or running processes is a simple but powerful way to start a hunt. For instance, as we browse the web or view email, we are accustomed to files being saved locally within a temporary or designated download folder. Well, attackers, including persistent threats, will also stage their malware within these same directories. So the method is straightforward. Simply inspect running process paths or persistent file locations and then look for anomalies with an emphasis on those files which are executing from non-system or root locations. So first, let's visit our Windows environment. We will start by using an environment variable, temp, and jump to that folder. As you can see, temp points to my local temp directory in my user path. We're going to stage our malware here, in this case using our trusty calculator. So copy calculator to our temp folder using the environment variable. We will also add a run key to the registry so our calculator will persist. This means that calc will spawn when a user logs on. Additionally, let's just open our calculator from the temp folder as well. So now we will have a running process from an uncommon path. To show this simple hunt, we can even utilize PowerShell to our advantage. So list the current running processes, uh, and specifically the path of those. As you can see, here is the calculator from my users directory. We can use a simple select string as well to highlight those running processes from a user's path. In fact, we can even go a step further and group these objects so you can see the number of occurrences and perform outlier analysis. Now outlier analysis is not going to work well in my single workstation, but if you were to replicate this search over the entire network or domain, outliers could assist you in your hunt. But keep in mind, outlier analysis can also fail. So that's the approach. It's fairly straightforward, but now I'll show you how we discover these uncommon paths with Endgame. So let's jump to the Endgame platform. And as we have shown before, here is a list of all endpoints where Endgame is deployed within our test environment. To begin our hunt, select these endpoints and start an investigation. You can customize your investigation to include as many hunts as desired. But for this demo, we will select the persistence and process hunts with the default configurations. We will also name our hunt and create the investigation. By selecting these hunts, we are now surveying each host and collecting those files which will persist as well as collecting all running processes. So let's go view our completed investigations. Let's click our Uncommon Path investigation. And this view illuminates each hunt as well as the analytics performed. As you can see within the persistence survey, we have an uncommon path tab. Click this page and you will see our calculator which was set to persist via the run key. In fact, here are the full results of the survey, showing the run key registry entry we created. Additionally, we can change views on the top left and view our process hunt. There is also an uncommon path tab that shows the calculator which we spawned from the temp folder. This is very easy to navigate and scale across your entire environment. And that concludes the demo. There are many very effective ways to hunt for suspicious artifacts across your system and examining source locations of running processes or persistent files can be a powerful hunt. And with Endgame, we automate the hunt by examining behaviors across your entire network and presenting those suspicious artifacts to the user. Thanks again for joining us.